I'm Shelly, I'm Ne, and together we are Prime, Prime Obsession. Obsession. This show is about infusing architecture, interior design and fashion. We are interior design graduates and we love, love fashion. So we'll be bringing you like the characteristics, the structure of each building in Johannesburg and trying to infuse that in one outfit. So yeah, basically we'll be styling the outfits from head to toe, trying to explain the concept of our show. Today we are, we are at the ANSYS building, we'll be analyzing, looking at the characteristics, the structure of the building, the art deco period in which it's influenced by, and we'll be styling an outfit according to that. So tune in guys. Cool. is the heart of the building. This is where history kind of began. It was built by architects Emily and Williamson. Yeah, so it was the first skyscraper in Joburg at the time. So yeah, this is Einstein's building. So far, so good. So you can even see with these gates here. Yeah? They really, Art Deco was, was, a, was a period where it had no like philosophical reference or anything. They used a lot of decoration. Uh, in buildings, so like this was in most like that art deco influence and like that glamorous and elegant uh, kind of aspect with the gold, the use of gold and like these gates like they're just merely for decoration like there's no, there's no functional purpose. Right now we're in one of the lift lobbies in the buildings. It's actually I think the only lift lobby that still has like these very contrasting kind of colors that are very typical of the Art Deco period, but it doesn't work anymore, so we can't really like open it to use it. Yeah. The colors of the lifts, as you can see, contrast with the colors of the building, so they clash somehow. The curvilinear forms of the building, like with your lift here, yeah, and the circles, also mimic the circles with the bulkheads, bulkheads and, and, and the colors. Flooring. As you can see, there are circles And there's a lot of like circular and like cubic and geometric like aspects in the building, even on the pat even on the pattern on the floor, the bulkheads, the structure of the building. Yeah. So we are here, the rooftop, showing you the city landscape at large. This is so beautiful from up here. You see everything from your tallest buildings. Well, this was the tallest building in Johannesburg. Um, you can see the Standard Bank building from here the Carlton Center, which is the tallest building in Africa for I think 40 years running now. We're back again. We had an opportunity to go into this apartment. So yeah, this is the view. I mean like, can you like look at this view? Like, I just love this space. I could just live here, just like here. Hi Steve. Hi. Hi Steve. How are you? Good, thanks. Good. So please tell us, how long have you been living here? I've been here about two years now. Two years, so and um, how is it living here? I really love it, it's great. It's great. Um, the people in the building are great. Uh, it's a, a mix of all different types of people. Um, so you enjoy it all day, every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You don't mind the noise at all. I don't mind the noise. Sometimes the taxis can boot a little bit too much. Yeah. <laughs> See? But See? that's part of life. Yeah, and true. Even that is awesome. When we do the outfit, when we're styling the outfit, you'll just see like the inspiration that's just coming from everything that we've seen in this building. It'll be incorporated right into the styling. We'll take you through it and you'll see how it connects with each other. Hi guys, we're back from the building, from Anstey's building, we're back in the studio. So this is the outfit that we came up with, uh, concerning the building as a whole, from your interior to your architecture, the whole structure. So basically, I took like geometry, the style of the building, as in the century, and a whole lot of accessories that are in the building. For instance, when you enter the building with the lobby, into the lobby, there's a feature wall with monkeys that is gold. So I took that and I incorporated that into the accessories, as you can see the bangles here. Just minimal things, not too much, not too little, just enough to 
to capture the essence of the glamour of this look and the 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 top the crop top is from the lines from the rooftop the rooftop had like a floor tiling that was black and white and the lines were horizontal and vertical but i decided to go with safe lines not too many lines just a touch of the lines so you got your lines you got geometry that again is a key element with uh, art deco as a design thing and then the orange is from the the lips that were painted with different colors also signifies art deco so also these pants are in now in fashion the flared pants orange from the interior of the building the art deco the very pants that's what it is so as a whole this outfit i think it ties in together and the shoes Clap heels, chunky heel, chunky, always do the flared pant with a chunky heel, it will complement your outfit. So the shoe is also black to balance out the top and then she's wearing shades. So basically we're not saying go out there and be looking like a building, we're saying take different elements of a building, of the interior of the building and incorporate it into your outfit and you could come out with something great.